Grace and peace to you, Christ community family. I pray you are healthy and well as we come together for another Wednesday's Word on this fourth week of May for our midweek devotionals. Uh, we jump back into our theology series, and as I've shared before, I'm basing this theology series off the book entitled, Do You Believe? by Paul David Tripp. And for this week, we've come to the doctrine of creation. Now, obviously, we're not doing justice in talking about the doctrine of creation in only two devotional videos. We're only scratching the surface, but I hope these devotionals help you ponder, discern, and reflect in your faith and your conviction on God as our Creator. So let me read to us from Genesis as we jump in. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. When you listen to that one verse, when you hear that one verse, what do you think? What's your response? When you hear those words, or better yet, when you go through the entirety of Genesis 1, Genesis 2, hearing the creation story, it should take our breath away. Hearing the story of God's creation, of God being our creator, should fill our minds and hearts with awe and wonder. This isn't some intellectual exercise. This isn't just some historical fact. This is God's creation story that leads us into that awe and wonder. You see, God being our creator is everything. God being our creator is also saying that he has no rivals. You see, if we do not believe, or rather we have an ounce of doubt in God being our creator, then every bit and piece of biblical theology and history can come crashing down. God being our creator is foundational. The doctrine of creation puts God in the beginning, the middle, and the end. You see, as we continue to reflect on the doctrine of creation, God being our creator, we can't leave out the word purpose. Because God created his creation with purpose. God had a purpose for everything, from the sun, to the stars, to the oceans, to the mountains. God created with purpose. God created and handpicked the people around us with purpose. God picked the communities that we're in with purpose. God placed the people in our lives with purpose. You see, too many times when we struggle in life and we seek to find purpose in our lives, we look in all the wrong places. We can't look to ourselves to find purpose in our lives. We need to look to God to find purpose in our lives because He is the one that created us. Another word we can't leave out when we talk about God's creation, God's creation story is ownership or belonging. Think about it this way. If you create something, you belong to what and whoever created that you. You're the creator. You have the ownership of that creation. You see, God being our creator should lead us into a space where we receive comfort and solace knowing that we belong to God. We don't belong to the sinful world. We belong to that grace-filled nature of God, our Lord and Savior. You see, even at our church, the reason why we have membership classes, the reason why we have life groups, is because we're wanting to invite you to get a taste of belonging to the community of faith, to a body of Christ, because we belong to Christ. And it's through that belonging that we are reminded that we belong to our Lord and Savior. And that leads us to the next word that you can't leave out, which is authority. God being our creator equates to God having authority because God made the world. He created the heavens and the earth. God owns it. He has the ultimate authority over everything. Romans chapter 13 teaches us, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Last but not least, if you reflect, ponder, and think about and try to understand God's creation. That should lead us to worship God for who He is and what He has done. 
Think about it. When you see God's wonderful creation, when you see that beautiful sunset or sunrise in the great South Bay, you go, wow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. When you see the birds chirp, when you see the flowers bloom, praise God from whom all blessings flow. When you see the clouds move in the sky, when you see the blue sky so beautiful and clear, you can repeat what the psalmist said, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord. You see, when you're mindful of God's creation, that leads you to be better stewards of that creation. When you're mindful of God's creation, it leads you to experience and encounter that redeeming grace in the purpose of God's creation. When you're mindful of God's creation, it should lead you into that awe and wonder of who God is. And when you're mindful that we are, we are God's creation, that should bring you comfort. But most importantly, hope. A hope that sustains. A hope that perseveres. A hope that starts with God, continues with God, and ends with God. May that be our prayer as we reflect on God, our Creator, this week. As we revel in God's creation. I hope you have a blessed week.